The one thing you'll have to remember before we get into the subject of today's video is that Elon lies sometimes. Often enough, people will ask Elon a specific question and he won't exactly answer it very truthfully. This has happened in the past when people were asking if Tesla was going to make any type of refresh to the Model S and X. He said multiple times they're only making it for nostalgic reasons. There's not going to be any big refreshes. And then, of course, either he was lying or they changed their mind pretty drastically and decided to give this huge plaid upgrade and countless interior changes so obviously I think this might be a similar situation because one of the questions at GigaFest was asking Elon about doing a single piece casting for basically the entire vehicle I mean obviously you gotta attach the batteries powertrain and the doors and all that but at Giga Berlin with the Model Y they're doing the front underbody and rear underbody separately as single piece castings which is already a great innovation this allows Giga Berlin to produce like 500,000 electric vehicles a year. That's insanely good. It helped them simplify a ton of parts, but of course, Tesla is always innovating. They're always seeing where they can go further, and in a recent patent filing, there was actually evidence of a 12,000 ton gigapress that they're working on, which of course hasn't been built yet, but there's a lot of inside sources that we're hearing from Sawyer Merritt and another guy that was at GigaFest, uh, Alex Voigt. I'm sorry, I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, but Alex did a great video because he was able to talk with a lot of the engineers at GigaFest and hear about, of course, they're working on the 8,000 ton GigaPress for the Cybertruck underbody, and that's going to be likely the biggest one in the world. But there's actually a lot of people telling Alex that in the future they plan on making a single piece casting for an entire vehicle. They didn't necessarily say if this is for the not Model 2 or, you know, the Tesla Compact or the Tesla Q, whatever it is. This might even be something they're prepping for, like, a redesigned approach to mass producing Model Y, but in my view, it makes a whole lot more sense that Tesla is designing this GigaPress for the upcoming battery day vehicle that would be cheaper than, you know, gas cars by skipping a lot of different processes. Now, I know many people out there are probably just thinking, wait a minute, casting press on the front, casting press on the back. Okay, now we get to do all of it in one giant casting press. Does this actually save that many parts? Well, in Alex's video, he says that they can save over 200 parts by not having to attach these two giant casting presses and perhaps based on the images within the patent which shouldn't be looked at as you know concrete oftentimes there's a lot of things companies will make patents on and never really do anything with this might be that situation but it shows that there's at least research and investigation going into the idea of replacing a lot of the stamping press steps into the casting press tech so that you would have very very few parts to the overall vehicle basically combining the front and the back and everything that connects those two into a single press allows you to skip on bolts, it allows you to skip on welding, it allows you to skip on the whole process of building one whole section of the factory for one casting press and then having to lay all the foundational work and all this extra equipment for the second casting press. As Tesla's old motto goes, the best part is no part, the best process is no process. So if one day they're able to design a Giga Press, which is capable of doing the front and back and the middle all at once, that could save a lot of time, save on a ton of steps. But of course, you would still need a stamping press to build out, you know, the front and a lot of the exterior panels, the tailgate and the doors and all that. So it's not like it's going to be one press and the whole vehicle is done. But with the structural 4680 pack, now knowing that they're going to be attaching the seats of the vehicle directly to that pack and then just simply bolting the top casting press into the battery, I could see how if Tesla was making a vehicle that was, you know, more small and, and definitely more compact than even the Model Y is and the main emphasis of this vehicle vehicle is to be lithium iron phosphate with a high cycle life of the 4680s but because it's so lightweight the range should still be pretty high despite the lower energy density of those batteries you're looking at maybe 280 or 300 miles of EPA estimated range but a starting price under $30,000 I'm hesitant still to ever say that there will be a $25,000 Tesla because inflation has not been nice to the Tesla lineup right now and they're getting rid of Cybertruck prices and all that so I'm not going to call it the 20 5k Tesla but substantially cheaper than the Model 3 and still fairly practical of course still rocking all the great autopilot hardware all of the great safety systems that Tesla has in place as well as supercharging access great efficiency and still well enough range for what most people need so basically keeping you guys in the loop that don't necessarily always listen to what Elon is saying even if he says no it would be too difficult I don't know if you'd want to do a casting press like that looks like at least someone at Tesla is looking into it so so 
it might never end up happening but what do you guys think does it make sense for them to simplify parts even more so or do you think this is just going to create more problems than it actually solves i would love to see them do it because i think the total number of parts would substantially shrink if you could just have one machine pump out like an entire car body and now you just got to add a handful of body panels and windows but all that good stuff let me know what you're thinking down below thank you all for watching hope you have an excellent rest of your day take care